All right. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to 3.3. This is where we start to kind of get into actually proving things are congruent to each other. Okay, and we start with triangles. But before we get into that, we're going to look at this problem, which was from a concept in 3.2. And hopefully you recognize um, that this is your exterior angle. And these two are your, your other interior angles. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping you remember that it's going to be x plus 42 equals 3x minus 102. So, so then, you know, a little bit of algebra, subtract x, add 102. So you get 2x equals 144, so that becomes 0. Divide by 2, which just becomes x, equals 72. There's our answer. Okay, so this would be 72. Okay, and this we could figure out pretty easily. So now, I do want a, wor a word of caution. Just because something looks 90 degrees doesn't necessarily mean that it is. Okay, this, this, you know, by, by all accounts would look, be very, very much like a 90 degree angle. But we have to go by the information. We, we can't just go by, that's what it looks like. And, and that's a good lesson to remember as we go into this. So now when you talk about <clears throat> proving triangles congruent, there are a number of different ways to do it. And it all depends on the information you know about the triangles. Okay, so... Let's, let's kind of start looking at how can we prove triangles congruent. So when we start talking about proving triangles congruent, as I said, there's several different ways. You have a postulate and you have a theorem. Okay, so the, the subtle difference is that it's, it's accepted without proof. Okay, so it's just a statement that describes a fundamental relationship in geometry. Um, a theorem is, is something that can be proven. Okay, you can use undefined terms, definitions, and postulates, and, and that can be proven. So we're, we're using theorems and postulates to, to help us here. So one of the simplest ways to prove triangles are congruent is, is to say, you know what? Three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle. The triangles are congruent. So this, this one is probably by far the simplest one. So I can say, you know what? A, B is congruent to um, DE. And I would say BC is equal to EF. And I would say AC is, is equal to uh, DF. Okay, so I would say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. And I would just say by side, 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 by SSS. So all this is saying is that, you know what? I've got this side matching up here. I've got this side matching up here. And I've got this side matching up here. And, and when I have that situation, I can say, yes, this triangle is congruent to this triangle. That's enough to tell me those two triangles are congruent. But I might have to do some searching. I might have to do some things to figure that out. The next one... Is, is and you do have to pay particular attention here. Side angle side, if two sides and the included angle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of a second triangle. So if I look here, I, I can say, you know what, AB is, is congruent to DE. And then please notice it's angle B and angle E, and it's very, very important to notice where B and E are. Okay, B and E are in between my sides that are congruent. Okay, so this congru these two congruent sides, these two congru congruent sides, and then B and E is the one in between them. So that's BC congruent to ED. That's enough to tell me, yes, ABC is congruent to DEF. The biggest part here is the fact that it's between those two things. It's between those two sides. Okay, so if I've got two triangles 
I've got two sets of sides and the angle in between. That's enough to tell me that those two are congruent. So now if I, I can also kind of flip that around and say angle side angle. And, and most of the time I tell kids, hey, look at the information they give you and then make your decision based on that. So two angles and the included side are congruent to two angles and the included side. Then the triangles are congruent. So, so this is... This is almost just kind of a flip of, of, the, of the previous way to do it. So you've got angle A matches up to angle D, and angle B matches up to angle E, and then AB matches up to DE. And, and again, you must notice that the side that is congruent, the, the side that matches up is, is part of both angles. Okay, it's, it's in between there. Okay, so it's, it's the side that is a part of my two sets of angles. Okay, so when I go ABC, that's congruent to DEF. And, and that's going to be my answer right there. Side, the side that is in play here is a part of two sets of angles. Okay, and the last one, um, two angles and the non-included side here for, for angle, angle side. And, and the reason, and the way that I tell kids this is that it goes kind of angle, angle, and then it kind of goes next side. And what I mean when I say that is if I start at A, okay, I go to B, and then this is my next side. If I start at D down here, I go to E, that's my next side. Okay, so it's angle, angle, side, but it's, it's really kind of, it's gotta be a specific side of what I'm doing. So B will be congruent to E, and then B, C will be congruent to E, F. So A, B, C is congruent to D, E, F. Okay, so, so if I have any of these situations, I have, I have any of these situations, so I've, let me, quick recap, so I've got all sides, I've got side, angle, side, remember it's got to be included, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. So those are kind of my four ways that I can do this, okay? So if I look here, so, so now let's, let's look at what I've got. So I've got, so I've got all sides, all sides, no angles, all sides, no angles. So I've got a side here, side here, side here, side here, side here, side here. So I can say, yes, yes, these two, yes, these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. So I, I can't just say yes or no. I've got to have a reason. I've got to recognize one of these situations. This one has all sides, no angles. It, it, that's the only one it could possibly be if it worked. So now here, so now let's, let's take a look. Now, um, please notice that, that this side is, is part of both triangles. And... It's, it's equal to itself, okay? It's equal to itself. We, we, we call that the reflexive property. Okay, where you're equal to yourself. So this is part of both triangles, okay? So and it's equal to itself, so we get to, we get to count it as part of both triangles. Um, but that's all we know. That's that's all we know. We don't we don't get any other information. We don't get any information about like these two side, the last two sides, we get no information here and here. We get no information with angles, anything like that. None of that, none of that. Um, so all we know is two sides are equal, but that's not enough. So, so we must say no. Cannot um, prove congruent. Not enough information here. So now let's, now, now let's keep looking here. So here, 
we have side, side, we have side, side, and we have angle, angle. Um, but, but so we have two sides and one angle. So the only one that works up there would be side, angle, side. Um, so, so we look at does, does side, angle, side work? And no, it doesn't um, because of where the angles are. The angles are, are not the included angles. So they're not the included angles. So, so side angle side doesn't work. Okay, so now I, some of you might be asking, Mr. Heron, isn't there a side side angle? And, and the short answer to that question is uh, no, no there's not. Doesn't work. Okay, side side angle doesn't work. And I'll show you kind of quickly what I mean. So, if I have, um, say I've got a triangle. And so I say I've got side, side, angle. Okay. So I could theoretically have another side to where I've got this side that matches. Okay. This side that matches. And this angle that matches here, okay? That angle that matches there, that doesn't work, okay? In, in theory, the idea, um, let me back up here a minute. Let me back up here in a minute because that doesn't follow very well. Let me clean this up a little bit. So pretend I had this one. Okay, so pretend I've got, pretend I've got an angle side side here. What I can do then is, is I can kind of swing this leg back to where this angle is the same, this side is the same, but I end up with this being here. Okay, I still got angle side side, but, but this is two different triangles. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, so that's, that's why side side angle doesn't fly. Okay, that's why it doesn't work. So now let's let's look at this one, letter D. KM bisects angle JML. Bisects JML. So bisects means cut in half. So that means those two are equal, those two are equal. So so let's let's and let's see what else. Let's see what I've got here. So now those two are equal. And then put, notice again that MK is part of both triangles. So, so I would argue, I'm going to argue yes. Okay, yes, and I'm going to go by angle, angle, side. So, and, and the reason for that is J and L are congruent, which they tell you. Um, they tell you that KM bisects JML. So bisects, we know, means cuts in half. So those two equal. And then MK, this line, that this segment that drops down, that is part of both triangles, and that's going to be equal to itself. So, yes, that's going to work. So, now let's look. So, now here, here, look at this. They tell us, they tell us that BCD is congruent to WXY. So, now let's, let's kind of look and see what matches up. So, we got to figure out X. So, let's look at B. B matches up to W. Okay. Cool. So now, I, so now this is easy. 24x plus 5 matches up to 77. Okay, that matches up. Uh, you know, the 11bc, does that match up to, that matches up to wx? Yes, I could do that as well. Okay, I hope I, hope I get their same answer. So I could do either way. So now here a little bit of solving. That would give me 72. So X is going to be 3. That'll give me an answer. I, I could have also done the, the sides that match up. So I go 2X plus 5 equals 11. So 2X equals 6. X equals 3. 
Boom, there's your answer. So you have to use your congruent statement to figure out what matches up to what. So here, is that enough to say that they're congruent? And I, and I want you to start to recognizing this. This is part of both triangles. Okay, it's the same length for both triangles. It's not like larger over here and shorter over here. No, it's the same length. So I'm going to argue yes. Okay, because this is going to be side, angle, side. Forgive me, that should have been a proper A. Because if this is 90, this is 90. So that, that would be side, angle, side. That would perfectly be fine. How about here? Well, again, if you look, that is part of both triangles. So I would argue yes. Okay, and this is going to be by side, side, side. Okay, these two match up. These two match up. That last one matches up. So absolutely, by side, side, side. So now this one. You have this line, part of both triangles. So you go angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Yes. Because that line segment, this line segment right here is part of both triangles. So I can use that to, to help me um, figure out that yes, those two are gonna be congruent. It's gonna be angle, angle, next side, angle, angle, next side. So now here, this, this one's gonna be no. This one's gonna be no. I Okay, I know that these two are congruent. I know that these two sides are congruent, but I don't know anything else. Okay, they don't give me any other information. Yes, these two are really close to each other, doesn't necessarily mean they're equal. Okay, I know nothing about any of the angles. So this one's going to be no, not enough information. So now let's let's look here. Let's let's see kind of what we got here. So this one uh, This one's part of both triangles. So that one's going to be equal. Um, I, I don't see you have an angle here, angle here, then side, side. We said that one didn't work. So, so for now, for all intents and purposes, we're going to say no. Okay, technically, there, there is what's called a hypotenuse leg theorem. And, and this and hypotenuse leg theorem says, says this, only in a right triangle and only in a right triangle, if I have the hypotenuse and one leg match up, okay, congruent, then I can say the triangles are, are congruent. Okay, so let me say that again. So only in a right triangle, which I have, okay, if the hypotenuse and one leg, okay, so the hypotenuse is this, this diagonal, and then this leg and this leg are congruent, yes, then the triangles are congruent. Okay, so technically, yes, by hypotenuse leg it would work, but, you know, for now we're saying no. So here, take a look at this one. So here, I've got two sets of angles. Okay, I could even say, you know what? These two are vertical, so those are always going to be equal. Vertical angles are always equal. Um, but no. There's no angle, angle, angle postulate or, or theorem. Okay, be, because I could have, um, you know, I could have a triangle like so, where I have one two, three, but then on the other side, I could go this way. I could say, hey, that angle's still the same, that angle's still the same, that angle's still the same, but there's no way these two triangles are gonna be congruent to each other. So, so no, no is gonna be my answer there. 
So as I look here, I've got this angle and this angle. I've got this angle and this angle. And I've got this side. And I'm going to say yes. And hopefully you kind of glanced, saw that, and saw, hey, that's angle, side angle. And I'm done. And here. This one I will catch somebody because a lot of people will go, hey, those two are vertical, they're equal. So this this has got to be uh, this has got to be side angle side, right? Um, technically, no. Because let's take a look. These two are equal to each other, and these two are equal to each other. But look, this one is in the same triangle. And this one is in the same triangle, okay? I don't know anything about this measurement and this measurement, although, except that to know that those two are not equal. So technically, this is not enough information. Okay, the congruent sides, the congruent sides are all staying in their one triangle, okay? There's nothing to tell me, hey, this is congruent to something over here or this is congruent to something over there. None of that will help me. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Okay, so it's gonna be important for you to recognize these, get comfortable with all of them. It's also gonna be important for you to um, make sure you understand why, because our next step after this is, is gonna be actually writing down proofs. So, okay, off you go onto the quizzes and the assignment, assignment first. Okay, and then you'll be ready for 3-4. Thank you very much.